what up too? It's your boy DJ coming back at you with a little tutorial video here. Um, if you ever had a problem when you load a video onto your screen and the uh, or your editing software, such as like I'm using Premiere as you see, and then the uh, audio and the video don't line up. For instance, this one right here is one of them that I'm having a problem with. So, and you know how I know it right away is that it won't it won't do that. So, um, I'm going to show you guys how to do this using a tool called Handbrake. Okay, the problem with this is, is this, it's recorded in 30 frames per second, but for some reason, the, uh, the actual video is not. I don't know why. I don't know what makes it do that. Um, I literally just record on my tablet. So, this little thing here is called Handbrake. Um, you see it's like a little pineapple stuff. Minimize all this here. It's uh, right here. So basically, I've got it open, and I've got my file open. Now I'm gonna take um, I'm gonna take a file here. Let me kind of minimize this a little bit. And I'm gonna take that file that I just dropped, and I'm gonna drag it over here, and I'm gonna drop it in there. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do before I do anything, I want it to go to um, 30 frames per second. Now, let's see if I can remember how to do this. <laughs> okay, so here's a frame rate. You want to make sure it says constant frame rate. As you can see, I'm already at 30, so I'll leave it at 30. And we want to make sure it's a constant frame rate. Um, leave everything else alone. And then you come back to summary. And then we should start the encoder. So let's start the encoder. Oops, my old fight shows where I wanted to go. My fault. All right, so I want everything to go back to my regular videos. Um, let's just call um, app two. I'm doing a video on a YouTube app, so this is the second video, so I'll just call it app two and start encoding. Now this will take you know a few seconds here, so I'll just fast forward to the end of, the, end of it. And just like yeah, it's modified, so I'm going to go back to my folder. And you'll notice in my folder there should be an app too. So if I come over here to Premiere, and I drop this one in here, I'll put app two in here. Even though it's down there, it should add up now. So let's see if it adds up. I've got to modify this yet. So... Let me modify this. I'll fast forward this part. All right, now let's see if it uh, matches up now. All right, so it worked. We can see that it worked because the buttons are lining up with my voice now. Um, you know, if you're shooting a regular video where you can actually see your face, you know, and your lips aren't matched up, it's the same way. Um, my problem before is is it was going faster, and then you could tell when, like right there when I said when you hit view, like, and subscribe. Um, let me roll that back real quick. You'll notice that... Uh, that the buttons click along with my uh, my tutorial that I'm doing behind you so let's see that again so you'll see me click here so watch I'll go to view see it went and then went over here And see, I just hit the auto button. So, bottom line is, I got it to work. That's a quick tutorial on how to use Handbrake to get your videos to actually sync up with your editing software. I know it's a common problem. I've had it ever since I started doing stuff. So, just quick recap. You go over to Handbrake. You make sure that you go uh, over here to Video. 
make sure it's your 30 frames per second that's constant frame rate and then you of course put where you want it to go and then you encode so that being said that's it thanks for watching please give me a subscribe and like if you like the video and uh, keep on tubing we'll catch you later